In this video, I'll show you how you can add cool health bars to your ASCII game. As usual, we'll use Python. I'm working on Windows 10 and if you follow along, you should get the same results. Let's go! We have a blank project right here and let's start with adding the health variables. To have an output, let's print the stats to the console in a while loop. To control the flow of the code, let's include an input. Adding strings is one way to show stats, but now we'll use formatted strings, or in short form, f strings. To have some sort of basic display, we can print as many of these characters as much health we have left. So for 100 HP, we get 100 X characters. If we lower the current health, we start to see some health bar kind of stuff. Ok, but what if we have a ton of HP? That would take up a lot of space on the screen. To avoid this, we should tell how many characters we want to use for the health bar in total. Let's go for 20. Also, let's refactor the code a bit to be more readable. And as you can see, it still works. Now if we do some quick and easy mathematics, we can use the percentages of the max health to display that many bars on the screen. See some examples here. Also, don't forget to add the symbols you want to use. With this logic, your health bar will always be 20 characters wide, no matter the current or maximum health value. What I also like to use is this pipe symbol to serve as the limits of the bars. It looks much cooler. And if we withdraw from our health every iteration, we can see how the health bar changes. For this to take effect, we need to move these lines into the loop. Here we go! Of course, there are much better looking ASCII characters out there for us to use. Here are some examples. Important! Launching your game from different consoles might give you different results. What you've seen so far is PyCharm's built-in console. I can run the main.py from my PowerShell with the python main.py command and we don't see this specific character. That's why I rather stick to the underscore for the missing amount. Alright, next part. For this video, I prepared a colors.py file to show off all the colors you can use in Windows 10. Have a look. I know, these values look strange, but you don't need to worry about them. I'll show you how you can use them soon. But first, with this function, I'll let you see the colors in all of the consoles. For this, I import my colors file and call the function. In PyCharm, you can see some of the colors are the same. If I open my main.py with double click using different terminal, I don't get colors at all. Then if I run the file from PowerShell, I get nice results. It's totally up to you which one you use, results might be different for you, so try out all of them. Now to actually color the text, we should put the color variable just before the part we want to start coloring. We also need to tell the code where we want this effect to stop, otherwise everything will be colored after the start value. Now it starts to look like a real health bar. And I know you don't have this colors.py, so let's change this part a bit. You can type this gibberish to your code or just copy it from the description. Now you should have the same results. We can duplicate all this to display a menabar 2, why not? To change it differently, let's add mana variables too.
let's duplicate the update part too. And here we go. It goes just like the plan, except we don't have any health or mana logic. But you know, I'm a nice guy, so I'll show it to you. There are three ways you can go. The basic one is setting the health value to zero when it goes below zero. We can write it in two lines of code, or even better, in only one line of code. You should read it like, the current health is set to zero if the current health goes below zero. Otherwise, we leave it untouched. So this is like an if-else statement squashed into one line. Cool, but we are more professional than this, so we'll use the built-in max function. So if it goes below zero, the health will always be zero. Same goes for mana. Now let's check it. Easy peasy. There's a last trick I want to show you in this video. I'm sure you've seen health bars with changing color. There's nothing complicated about it, so let's make it. For this, I'll use the green, yellow, red palette, cause it makes sense to me. Next, we'll add a variable for the current color of the health bar. Let's make the logic at the end of the file. I'll switch colors when my health goes below 66, and 33%. Easy as that. Now let's have a look. Nice, let me show you the results in my PowerShell. The colors are slightly different, especially the yellow one. If I change it to brown, It looks a bit better. Alright folks, I hope you learned something cool today. If you did, leave a like and tell me in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go for that 1k. See you soon. Stay safe and take care.